Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Celasta Crown of the Magister. We managed to finally get to a campsite at the end of the last episode. Took a long rest and uh, leveled everybody up. Made a couple of adjustments to spells and things like that as well. Um, and at the end of the last episode we saw some Sorax going into uh, this shed. Which seems to only have one thing in it. Which is this box. So we are going to push this box or open it up Gem. or we found it. do something. Where are the Sorax? Yeah. Are we not worrying about this or are we going to just grab this gem and go somewhere else that looks awesome? Looks like an interesting battlefield. I do like it when they change up the battlefields. What just happened? A gem, right? Just like that. This looks Did you hear interesting. The sound of killing. The Sorax. That was fast. You afraid? Of course not. So it's called the Mind of the Master, so it would make sense that we're now in some crazy maze. This this way this way I guess. I think I've got one fly spell and oh, there's a dead Sorak there. And one potion of flying. Well there's a lot of dead bodies here. Now, my friend, it's time for a little chat. I'll give you nothing. Sortar will protect me from your torture. He Un isn't here, Two-Face. Unlikely. But I am. This place will be your death, too. It is cursed. Its magic is twisted. This place? How did you get here? We were sent by our chosen one. An acolyte of Sorta. Blessed be his name. How did he locate the place? Ever heard of the Inquisition? Talk to us now. <laughs> and another fa social failure. <laughs> Nothing you can do to me could beat the horrors of this place. This place is cursed. Don't you have eyes? Didn't you see the fate of my brethren? Won't lose sleep over it. What is cursed? This very place! Everything seemed peaceful, and then... Magic came out of nowhere, targeting us. And how is that a curse? Because I know we will all die here. It said so! Who said what? The voice! It said we would all die. After each death, it... It said it again. Disturbing claims. Sure. All these dead Sorax and no trace of what killed them. They could have taken their dead, just like the Sorax do. And what do we do with our friend here? He is a Sorak pawn. There's only one thing to do. And yet, we have laws. He's too dangerous. Who are we to call ourselves judges and executioners? Servants of the gods. Protectors of Celasta. Blessed be his name. Given the choice, I totally would have killed him. But, you know. Right. There's this little obelisk thing here which we can't actually uh, do anything with. Interesting looking door. Go back to where you came from, you insignificant beings. You are not worthy to enter. Well, that's fairly harsh. Let's go this way. 
Well, there's um, roof ornaments that can be attacked. Just trying to see that that, that wasn't above these brick things. Let's go down here. There's two little glowing things on either side of the door, and there looks like a part to the left and a part to the right. So I would imagine. Oh, it has just gone dark. I mean, we do have dark vision, but I like to be able to see where I'm going. Let's stick together. This cave is dark and full of terrors. Game of Thrones reference. Tick that one off. I wonder if I can... Um... Okay, they don't light up. However... Oh, okay, that just shows you the area where it will fall and do damage. That's okay. I was wondering what that red square was, whether we missed a trap. Let's head down here. Oh! Face spiders. Interesting. Let's uh, get stuck in, shall we? That's a fair amount of damage. Well struck. I'm gonna get him into combat. Right, uh, just have interest. I want to just know. So that one falls there. That one falls there, would damage that one. That one would damage none of them. Is there one above this one? Doesn't look like it. So we could attack that one and see what damage it does to that one. Oh, I literally just got out of the way. We're going to join the dwarf in battle. Plus eight to hit. Okay. Let's skip. Um, can we take Cunning Dash to. Can't quite see. Here. This should be a sneak attack, right? Right. Let's have a little look, see. Um, that's pretty much all of them. That's a good fair bit of damage there. Just want to say whilst this fight's going on, thanks to uh, everybody that's been subscribing to the channel. We're nearly at a hundred uh, subscribers, so uh, yeah, every uh, every additional uh, subs subscriber basically helps the channel massively. And uh, and yeah, just thanks for all the comments and the likes, um, and just for joining me. Really, I hope you guys are enjoying it, and um, yeah, I'm enjoying having you guys around. Good kill. Wow, dwarves just leveled everyone. Let's go around the back here. Oh, I forgot about that one. I should come back and attack it. Well done. So sarcastic sometimes when they say stuff like that. Ah! 
Ouch. I think that thing's criticaled him twice. Let's get, let's get in here and start doing some sneak attack damage to the big thing. And we'll chuck a... Uh, let's chuck one of those in. Again, uh, missed this time. I mean, without any cock ups, this should be it. There we go. Just got an achievement called Ice Ice Baby. I mean, I don't know what that was for, but oh, it appears to be that symbol. Just check the back of this room over here. Seems to be a way over there. But I do want to go and check this symbol out over here. Which I believe is a symbol over on the gate. Okay, I wonder if this is timed. I do want to go and check out the other way just in case there's some um, loot over there. It's always worth checking. Might be a complete dead end. What's this? Sometimes there is simply no choice. A way under. It looks like a keg. I want the keg. But we can't we can't jump up there. Okay. So we crawled through there. Yeah, don't stand under that. There's another one there. So if Arlen can get up there, can he not get over there? Just walk over here. Okay, basic poison, poisoner's kits, some dark stab. Okay, so how can we can we all go this way? Oh, we can now because we can jump off of that. Okay, we can shove this out of the way here. Let's go under. Undignified, but necessary. Yeah, I need my light source under there, please. We can't actually see a thing. Okay, now I'm probably partially lost. That's the way back to the symbol, over this way. Um, hang on, is this the way we came in? Let's go Feel under here. Now. Rise later. Climb up here. Oh. More face spiders and a couple of unknown things. Let's uh, send the rogue over here. You have them now. Let's move them in. I'm actually going to put my dwarf over here as well. Um, 
Which one's that? Is that the other one? Okay, we are going to leave the... Uh, going to leave my priest here and just um, ready a melee attack. Because I want her next to my wizard. Old foe, you've endured worse. She's just been burned by acid, so maybe, maybe not. Um, yeah, we're in combat with it. Let's. Um, I'm just gonna red frost it. So Kari's on basically half hit points. Okay, it's, we're now flanking, so we should get sneak attack damage if we can hit it. And it's dead. So he's going to move now. And we'll start hitting this thing. meant to hit it. A little poison puff. Ugh. We got issues hitting stuff. stand here ah. trying to remember in my head where we came from and how to get back ah. can we hit something come on Kari At least it's just as rubbish as we are. Let's just see if we can bat it with our staff. Yeah. I mean, outdone by a wizard, Curry. Outdone by the wizard. Just Bravo. saying. Victory is yours. Just saying. Right, let's... Um, can we... Mask your wounds? Let's just do a prayer of healing quickly. So we've lit this up. And now we've got to go the other way. I mean, to some degree, I do that on a daily basis. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we've got two different choices here. We have this way, which appears to go down to some sort of greenish light. Let's, uh, oh, there's a block up there. New waypoint added, the arena. Okay, stick together, people. Okay. Four of those small ones and a big door. Okay, we are locked in here with just this, so I guess we're going in here. Die wolf. And some goblins. What if these challenges get harder and harder? Wow, not sure. Round one, defeat your opponents. Get ready for the next battle. Okay. We are going to just run straight on, I think. Wonder how many rounds there actually are. 
So we've got ghasts and skeletons and spectral stuff. So we are going to probably use Turn Undead in a minute. Although the Spirit Guardians seem to be doing a fairly good job at the moment. Yeah, the Spirit Guardians are doing a really good job. Right, let's cast... Um... Sorcerer over there. More. They're all taking some nice damage just coming into com contact with us here. Right, let's uh, begin. Start the mop up. Nice critical. Wow. I spent a lot of time last session about whinging about not getting criticals. I feel like I maybe should start taking that back. That one's dead. We are gonna go around to flank this one. For the extra sneak attack damage, if any. did a lot of damage. Um, let's try get rid of her. Didn't do a great deal of damage, but I'm going to go and stand over here. Screw it, someone's hitting it. Well struck. Alright, let's um get over here. Ah! Oh, she's nearly dead. that get him in range? No, it does. Ah! Hopefully this will uh, seal the deal. I'm guessing uh, get ready for the next battles coming. It is. Let's grab this loot here. One whole arrow. Amazing. Right, let's just quickly come together over here so that we can work out who needs healing and stuff like that. Um, so she can actually use preserve life on herself, which should give her a few hit points. Um, then we could prayer of healing again, to be honest, just to give everybody a big boost here. Has that gotten rid of spirit guardians? It does look like it has. Let's um, also cure light ourselves. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's um, continue. Ooh, what we got here? Ogres. Okay, this looks like a pretty horrific fight. What I'd like to do if possible is try and get them into a position of um, height advantage. Maybe up here. Probably 
probably looks like that's the best way to go. You're still standing. Ow. That's a lot of damage. Uh Yeah, I wanna run, but at the same time I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, we need to get out of here. Um Kinda wanna dash, but I'm gonna take a take this opportunity against me. I think it's hard. Um also want to just start laying into stuff but he is literally in the worst possible place let's disengage who's this over here oh shaman okay let's disengage and go over here actually let's disengage and go up here Keep him alive. Um, let's cast Spirit Guardians. Obviously. Just everyone's going to be taking damage. He can still hit me though. I think my mage is about to get proper hit. What, no animation. It's weird, I'm getting that stuttery graphical glitch type thing again. That looks like it would hurt. Blurred. Brilliant. Right, okay. Our dwarf. The orc chieftain is there, but the big, the big stuff's there, so we're actually going to move... We are going to move in there. Um, should we attack first? Let's attack the ogre first. Um, actually, I'm not going to action surge yet. I'm, a, I'm a, imagining that there's going to be a lot worse. Right, where can I put this? such that we get quite a lot of stuff but not us um, like that would be good Bravo! Victory is yours. there goes one All this extra damage that those spirit guardians are doing really helps. Is that a mace hit to the face? I think my rogues go soon, I guess. Ow! Leave my wizard alone. Um, oh, I can't switch the arrows. Oh, I did switch the arrows. Okay. Let's go for. Let's go for this winter wolf, actually. He's pretty hardcore. Victory is yours. Okay. Oh, good time. Uh, ow. Well struck. Let's kill this berserker. Let's get something on the go here. Can't see Curry, your head's not.
Lucky dodge. Another lucky dodge. Nice dodge for her. Yeah, not so lucky that time. Okay, we've got um, Orc Archer over there. We can switch arrows. We've done that already. Um, it's going to be the Orc Archer's turn next. So let's take it on. Nobody has your skills. Bravo. Oh, dead. Nice. Um, we are now going to cast Cure Light on Elena. We rolled a one. Perfect. Uh, and that's all we get to do. Can we kill this guy? Not quite. Um, he can't have that many hit points, so I just need to hit him with a spell. And then get the hell out of dodge for now. Yeah, he's, he's blurred, so we're going to have trouble hitting this guy. Maybe we should start. Nice sidestep. We probably won't hit him, but... This guy's been in his face the whole time. Critical miss. Um, he's probably immune to that, to be fair. I wonder if I can knock him prone. No. No, we can't. <laughs> Oh, he's hit me. Stop rolling crap D20s. That's better. At least we hit it. Force him to heal himself. Yes, please. Ugh. Uh. Did I fail? I did. Okay. Try this. Um, cover. Let's try the guy again. It's just impossible. Let's get him down here in combat. <sighs> we'll uh, just keep swinging. Eh? There we go. I like. Uh, 
And the dwarfs very, very impressively stood his ground. Go help him out. Call a little sneak attacks. Keep him coming. Nice. Oh, is that opened? Choice four, defeat your opponent or leave the arena. Oh, okay. So we're going to have to make a choice. We can either go and do this or attack the next person. Let's stand over here, see what spells we have left. Okay, I think we're going to go for round four. Let's, uh, let's do this. What have we got here? Minotaur. Tiger Drake. Oh, a real mixed bag of stuff. Um, okay, let's get our favourite spells going here. Uh, yeah. Uh oh. 16 damage to our mage straight away. I think it's time to break out some of those higher level spells here. It's missed. Let's move on. Why we? Why we? Uh, why we stopping here? Yeah, get wrecked. That's right. My wizard is going to hit you. Um. Okay. Actually, let's go round the back here for the sneak attack. And get poisoned. I think we may well be. Uh, let's try and kill this little face spider. Get rid of uh, anything that does any additional damage here. Small stuff. Um, I think it's time to use action surge. Oh, nice. It's a massive critical as well. Okay. Let's go second wind as well. And we'll mark the damage from that. You're still in the fight, my friend. Yeah, he's still on the outside of this, uh, of the, uh, Spirit Guardian Circle, so it's getting focused a bit here to bring him back in size. And in, in order to do that, we need to get a laner out of combat, which uh, is easy said than done. But I think we need to start doing some proper damage against stuff, so let's do that. Forty-two damage. That's nice. Forty-two damage to the fire osprey as well. Get rid of this face spider. Not quite. Uh, heal and ally, you can see. There's a bonus. She's about to get hit, I would have thought. Oh, 
two more damage, you would have done it. One less enemy. Alright, there goes that guy. Let's get him in here. Oh, nice. There goes that guy. Uh, let's get him to go over here. Okay, what can we do here? Kill them all. Pretty good. Um, yeah, that'll do. That thing's taking more damage even just coming in here. Uh, yeah, it will. Go on. Seven bludgeoning damage. Destroyed with a magical quarter stuff. Killed in close combat by the wizard. And that's the headline of uh, the Tiger Drake news. Are you still with us? Yeah, we're all having a tactical opportunity. I like the way it's taking itself out there to allow us to get a few spells off and stuff at range. And it's going to have to make its way back in in a minute. Let's get round to here. Oh, come on. Don't lose hope. Dead. Oh, just died from the spirit guardians. Nice. Yeah, so we've got two chests here now. Um, let's see what spells we can cast here. Let's do a mass cure wounds. Oh, hang on, is he on fire? Uh, let's just cast this. And extinguish the fire. Let's go and get our loot, shall we? We won the arena. A large belt. Okay. And another shield plus one. Okay, let's um, let's identify the uh, the obviously magical belt. <laughs> Giant strength. Ah, dwarven kind. Plus two constitution to a maximum of twenty. Got that ready. Um, resistance to poison, saving throws to poison, can see in dim light, can speak, read, and write dwarvish, 50% chance to grow a beard. Okay. Uh, she's already got three things. That's a ring of dark vision, which we would get from the, the belt anyway. And to be fair, I'd quite like to see her with a beard. So, uh, let's give that to her. And it would make her constitution 20. Um, so she can wear that. Um, yeah, we can probably sell this. So, can we attune during a short rest? I can't remember. Short rest. Let's take a short rest quick. And we will attune. We are going to remove this. And attune that. Um, what's she actually got here? Ah, no. Don't want to do anything there. Let's use Arcane Recovery. Get our level 5 spell back. 
and we've opened both chests now. So I guess we are now going through here. Uh, yeah, is there anything else in here? Can't go through there. Can't interact with that again. Quest completed. Okay. That's done. What do we do now to get out? Okay, we're going to go up here. Just um, before we do that, I'm going to... Obviously I'm envis envisaging a, uh, a major boss fight coming up. Um, I'm going to take the time to end this episode here. So thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, I look forward to seeing you guys around for the next episode of Celeste, the Crown of the Magister. And until then, take care of yourselves and stay safe.